Hello there, YouTube people. Welcome back. I bet you are beautiful, fantastic as always. So, you want to create your own cutout animation and you don't know how to begin. So guess what, yo? I'm here to teach you. Yeah! Let's begin. The first thing to do is to split the character into different levels. Every level will be controlled by another bone. So let me show you what I have here. I have the body level, the head, leg right one, leg right two, and same for the leg left, one and two. In order to set up the skeleton, we need to use the stage schematic view. If you have it set up like in my layout, all you need to do is to click here to toggle between the state schematic to the FX schematic. Okay? If you don't, go to Windows, other windows, click on schematic. Boom. The next step is to take the different levels and connect them to each other. This is how we create the skeleton. So let's make some room. We're going to start to work with the head and the body. So let's put them on the top. Now, I want you to think about it like this. The body of the character is going to be the core. Whenever we move the body, I want the other levels to follow it. If I move the body, the head and the legs will also move. Okay, so if the body is the most important main part of the skeleton, let's put it on the top. Top of the hierarchy. Now, the first thing we want to connect to the body is the head. So, I want you to drag this blue point to the red point, and now I want you to think about it like this. The head is connected to the body. The head is following the body. Now, if I'm going to move with the edit tool, if I'm going to move the body, Guess what? The head is following, so it's connected to the body. Let's do the same for the legs. Okay, so the reason I gave them names is when you organize the skeleton, it's much easier. Okay, if you're not sure which part is which and you go lost because your skeleton is so complicated with so many parts this is easy all you need to do is to click on this magic orange thingy and it will enable and disable the level you want to see or check okay so the lower part of this leg we want to connect to the upper leg okay and the upper leg we want to connect to the body same here, lower leg to upper leg, upper leg to body. And now, if we are going to move the body, everything should follow. Because everything is connected to the body. Okay, now, how do we make it a skeleton? Before we go there, I want you to check out the last tutorial with the edit tool, because this is what I'm going to do here. We want to make the center of each part because it will be the joint, okay? Now, let's begin with the body. The body pivot could be here, okay? The head, let's use the neck for the head pivot. Now, the lower leg, and I'm going to double check. Yes, it's this one. The upper leg. I want it to be here. Same goes here. And if you want to check, you can change the center to rotation and it's working. Okay? It's not the best, but it's working. Maybe it should be a bit higher. Now, in order to make all this stuff into a skeleton, let's close the schematic view and let's select the skeleton tool, which is this one. Now, as you can see, we have some kind of weird joints and lines and bone-like stuff. And the build skeleton mode is to build the skeleton in another way. I found it confusing, so I didn't show you move to the animate in order to animate the skeleton how do we animate well you see the joints you need to click 
on the one you want and in this case it will rotate if you click on this one you can rotate you can also move it but we don't want to move the skeleton not in this case okay click you can control the joints click and you can animate whatever you want I hope that this one helped you a little bit to understand how the skeleton works in open tunes. In the meanwhile, see you later, alligator. Bye.